Hey, what's up guys, it's Tikosor. In some previous Android Reality Week video, I received a question from user 201. I hope I spelled the name correctly. And they are asking whether disabling meltdown and spectral vulnerabilities protection could potentially increase performance on the ally. So in this video, we're going to examine this mystery as well as show you how to disable them in case you would like to try it as well. Meltdown and Spectre are basically two CPU vulnerabilities that were discovered back in 2018 and used to be a big deal back then. But after BIOS patches and software integration in Windows, they have been protected and addressed once and for all. However, this increased protection caused older CPUs to lose significant performance in gaming as they have been reported numerously by gamers. But now thanks to CPU and OS advancement, that's not the case anymore. So modern CPUs can easily have those vulnerabilities protection while performing optimally. Still, we're going to check whether the Ally Z1 Extreme could actually gain performance from disabling it. First, I install this tool called Inspector. You can download it for free to check the status of your hardware and to see if it's protected from them. In my case, it shows here that both Meltdown and Spectre protection are enabled. And here it shows that performance is good, which actually means that CPU shouldn't be affected in performance with this protection on, indicating it can handle it pretty well. Now onto disabling them, I'll go to the registry editor and do a backup of my registry should anything go wrong. It's always a good practice to backup before modifying registry. Now navigate to local machine, system, current control set, control, session manager, and finally memory management. Double click on the feature settings key and change it from the default 0 to 1, which means off. Then right click and create a 32 bit registry file and name it as feature settings override and set its value to 3. Then create another one called feature settings override mask and also set its value to 3. If you had those two keys already, just change them to 3. And now go to the command prompt, running it as administrator and type the command I've included in the video description which also works by disabling it to make sure. Finally, restart the system and now if we open the inspector tool, we'll find that spectral protection is off with Meltdown still on. However, scrolling down shows some additional information. Here it says that this version of Windows is fully updated on both Spectre and Meltdown. And here it also says that the system has an AMD processor and isn't affected by Meltdown and has been updated to allow its OS to eliminate the Spectre vulnerabilities or minimize impact. Further down, it states that system protection against Spectre has been disabled by system settings, which indicates that our change did indeed affect the enablement of protection against it. Finally, it notes here that both Spectre and Meltdown protection has been deliberately disabled in the system registry. Although overall system performance will be improved, this system will be vulnerable to Spectre and Meltdown attacks, so it's obviously not recommended. And now it goes through some benchmarks. Here I am in Cyberpunk 2077 with a benchmark at 15W, 20W, and 30W TDP. Settings are set at the lowest preset and resolution to 900p. We see an ever so slightly performance increase in all three scenarios, like unimproved average FPS and loss, but it's pretty minimal. Yet it's evident that something has been lifted off that indeed gave some free performance. Also frame time shows some improvement with an increase less than 2 ms percentage after doing this tweak. Our next game is Red Dead Redemption 2 and here the difference is again quite minimal but still we can see some small performance gain. Even frame time shows similar results. Our final title is Horizon Zero Dawn and here we got a minimal difference yet again. It's really making a change with small improvement to frame time as well. Now in case you have done this tweak and would like to revert it back, you can set the feature settings registry back to zero and delete those two keys we created before. And just do a restart, it should show here that protection is back on. So in conclusion to answer this question, Disabling both Spectre and Meltdown vulnerabilities protection may give a small performance increase, but those modern CPUs can pretty much handle its protection without an issue, unlike back in 2018 where many gamers lost so much performance. And finally, if you decide to try it, feel free to share your results in the comment section below as it may provide some insight for others like in different scenarios or game settings, etc. I always thank you guys for asking me to try out those two weeks in order to help the community. And I'm always happy to answer your questions and help you improve your gaming experience. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to Tikosor to be updated on future content. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.